the long-awaited Alpha Beast review. Hello everyone, I'm Slashant Cut, and uh, today I'll be talking about the Alpha Beast. Um, uh, the Alpha Beast is a knife made by Blade Runners, a company founded by Lucifer and Knifesoid, two very well-respected uh, members in the Balasson community. As you can see, I've lined a few Balasongs up for a size comparison. Of course, now that I actually put the knife there, I notice that the uh, angle yeah, kind of cheats and they all look a bit of the same size, like the same size, but uh, yeah, if, you, if you compare the Microtech Tachyon with the Alpha Beast, it's of course a lot clearer that the Microtech Tachyon is a very small blade. And if you compare the um, 43 with the Alpha Beast, you have a, uh, let's see, let's line the handles up. You notice that the Alpha Beast is a bit longer, and if you check out the width of the handles, you see that the Alpha Beast is massive. Now, um, of course, uh, I have a pretty small hand. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, but uh, yeah, my hands are not very big. And uh, yeah, the Alpha Beast is a huge knife, but I'll come back to that when I talk about uh, the flipping of this knife. Before I start the review, I want to mention that um, yeah, I've got this knife about a month ago, something like that. And uh, yeah, I'm not one of the first people to have handled this knife. And uh, yeah, before I actually um, got the knife, I've heard a lot of people talk about how fantastic of a flipper it was. Um, the people mentioned uh, that uh, once you flip the Alpha Beast, you couldn't possibly go back to the 40X series. Now, uh, I've been flipping for four years, uh, I think, a bit longer, and I've pretty much been always been flipping with uh, the 40X, 40, two 42s or a 42 and a 43. And uh, to me, they were the, the best flippers uh, out there flipped uh, a lot of knives from uh, DDR, Scorts, uh, the uh, Archangel and uh, so on and uh, yeah I still thought that the uh, 40X series was uh, yeah the best flipper well the were the, were the best flippers um, so I found it hard to believe and that's why I didn't really want to give, give my opinion before I actually flipped the Alpha Beast I always stayed neutral said I didn't want to give my opinion but now I finally do um, first of all let's take a look at the uh, knife you can see uh, Blade Runners opted for uh, a more I call it uh, an industrial look um, the finish is a uh, yeah the finish is rough that's uh, how I, I like to call it you can see the blade my camera wants to focus properly. Come on. You can see the uh, part where there's no uh, where the well where the grind ends or begins. The part above uh, is a uh, yeah has a rough finish. It looks like um, the blade of a forged knife. That's uh, what it reminded me of. Um, <clears throat> the same thing uh, goes for the handles. You can see there's a, a rough finish. There's no polish. And uh, yeah, when you hold a knife, it doesn't really help with the grip, but it does feel nice. It, when you when when you hold a knife, it's it's pleasant to touch, you could say. Um, then the pattern in the uh, handles. There are three grooves on each side. As you can see, these grooves uh, help tremendously with the grip. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's very good but yeah you have in a uh, 40 x series you have the holes that uh, cause the grip and yeah this is better than the holes here then you have uh, two cutouts of one cutout um, in the handle to uh, remove weight of the middle of the handle and uh, then there are <coughs> excuse me some spacers uh, to add weight at the very end of the uh, handle. Then uh, there's the latch. I'm sure uh, you all seen this in the previous reviews. 
the latch is um, how can I say it uh, egg shaped it's not completely round and that way when you're uh, closing the knife the latch doesn't get in the way if you do it very softly and then push it might get stuck but uh, when you're flipping your latch won't get in the way and that's something very irritating if you can see with the uh, tachyon for example the latch does not get out of the way and for example when you're flipping you just did a great aerial or combo and you get your knife in the open position and you catch it like that it's very annoying I can tell you well you probably if you have a CCC or something with a T-latch you probably noticed as well now um, one thing that does annoy me aesthetically is the uh, well the cutouts as you can see well, first as you can see there's a bit of metal there a bit of titanium probably where the um, yeah where the cutout started and ended and that hasn't been grinded down and that's something that yeah you could say that annoys me um, keep in mind this is a four hundred dollar knife it's a lot of money and uh, for that money you want a finished product it also doesn't add to the industrial look in my opinion because yeah I see it's not consistent here it's uh, well two uh, metal bits are at the bottom of the cutout you can see here with my camera pick it up they're on the different side first of all they're at the top and uh, they don't line up and that's something that bothers me aesthetically it's yeah I don't like that I want uh, knife to be finished this is just a smudge doesn't want to get yeah it's gone now um, that's uh, the way the palisson looks now to the most important part how does this knife flip um, yeah of course it flips great nobody has been lying to you uh, this is a fantastic flipper um, the weight in the back of the handles make uh, rollovers a piece of cake um, like when you do a chaplain or an aerial the chaplain the uh, balisong sticks to your finger it doesn't fly away doesn't fly off um, you can swing your arm as hard as you can as long as you do the correct movement the uh, balisong will stay on your finger um, the added weight is a uh, yeah should have started with that um, my biggest concern when uh, I received this knife was that it would flip like a basilisk um, the basilisk is uh, in my opinion not the best flipper um, I've mentioned before in a post on forum and uh, in the, the ZAT that um, when um, yeah that I didn't like uh, the basilisk of course it has to be put in context I didn't like the basilisk compared to the 40x series the basilisk slowed my flipping down and uh, yeah speed is not my uh, my speciality when it comes to flipping and uh, the basilisk slow me, slowed me down even more so uh, yeah I didn't really like that and uh, that was my concern with this knife I know uh, knife so it really likes the uh, basilisk it's uh, it used to be is uh, maybe it still is I don't know now it's probably the alpha beast but it used to be his, uh, yeah, his favorite flipper if I'm not mi uh, mistaken and uh, yeah it probably influenced the design of the alpha beast with the uh, heavy spacers at the end of the handles luckily the alpha beast has a massive blade which causes the uh, yeah the weight of the blade counters the uh, weight in the handles just enough uh, that way you won't lose any speed or ba barely you well, yeah not you notice a bit of a difference but it's not much it's almost trivial 
Now, uh, as I said, rollovers are very easy. Uh, zero G uh, stuff like uh, the zero G Chaplin or um, the zero G letter, uh, like the Murnex letter in uh, well, underhand. You, um, yeah, that's really much much easier with the Alpha Beast than with a uh, 40X series. The 40X series because uh, there, there's no extra weight in the handles, the back of the handles. Um, you need a lot more arm movement. You don't need as much arm movement with the Alpha Beast. Now, um, as I said before, the Alpha Beast is way, way bigger. Um, this is uh, something you have to get used to. Um, it's a big difference when you're flipping. It's not necessarily bad. Although, when I flip with my offhand, when I do stuff like um, the Cherry Picker, um, I still, well, the cherry picker with uh, the 40X is something I can do with my offhand, like like when I'm watching TV or something, it's something that's, yeah, it's almost automatic, yeah, it's almost an automatic reaction, I guess you know what, you, what I mean. With the Alpha Beast, not so much, um, I don't have very large hands, my hands aren't that big, I don't know if you can notice when I'm holding the knife, but, uh, yeah, my hands are, I wouldn't say tiny, but they're smaller than average. And, uh, yeah, 